welcome to the first like week in my life at home in a bit this is about my only normal like dallas week in my life so this week i am getting back into a routine i'm getting back into my fitness routine i have no energy i'm so tired all the time and i just don't feel my best and that's because i haven't been on like a normal workout routine so and i'm hopefully gonna go through my closet it's gonna be like a productive getting back into my routine reset chill cleaning organizing vlog okay i have a few um events as well if you guys haven't been keeping up with the vlogs i've been gone basically for the past like two or three weeks i was in where was i i was in scottsdale i was in la and then i was in india for stagecoach and then i was in new york it was so much fun but i'm so excited to be back at home and just like getting my stuff together also i really want to read like two or three books i started emily henry's new book last night so anyway it's like 6 45 right now i'm about to go pick amanda we're gonna go walk the katy trail which i've been like loving doing that's what i do when like people are like wanting to get coffee or something but if you want the Katy Trail, it's still like you're getting your steps in, you know? And I'm going to get coffee before. So much fun. Absolutely loving it. Anyways, Topped Parade, Bra is set active. These are outdoor voices, I think. Um, guys, also, I need, like, running shoes, but for, like, walking. Maybe I'll start running again. I kind of feel like I might, but, like, probably not. Are Hoka's where I should go? Like, was that what I should get? You let me know. <laughs> Good morning guys, I came back. I don't know where my bedding is. I'm gonna have to find that. Um, I just got back from a walk. It was just so nice. Listening to a podcast, it's almost 10 a.m. I'm ready for the day. I'm wearing the Dallas pants from the Ocon. I literally live in these. Also, I just wanna say, I know it's my brand, but like, listen, if you are living somewhere that's hot, buy these pants and the top because they're so breathable because it's 100% cotton the quality is incredible they are like the perfect pants for the summer because they're so breathable they're so light like you can wear them in literally like 100 degree weather and feel fine so anyways i'm wearing them today it's 90 out already um i need to do some podcast work send in this week's episode and then i'm going to record with peyton for note to self at the dallas studio so that is the plan for this morning wearing my breadwinning housewife hat which is also available tank top converse here we go all right guys i got the final samples for one of our pieces for the summer drop which comes out actually next month which one do you like the best that is by far my favorite that's what's winning on instagram right now imagine these i mean you can put coffee in them i use my coffee mug thing all the time but i use it for water but these i picture more like a wine walk or you making like margs walk around the neighborhood like things like that you know what i mean Anyways, obviously love pink in general, but I just don't think that's the vibe. I think that this is the vibe, but comment below because it's for y'all, so I will listen to you guys. All right, y'all, getting to work today. Also, my flowers, some of them are still here from launch. It's actually incredible that they've made it this long. All right, y'all, we've got a little grocery haul. My Instacart just arrived. I have some sourdough bread. I got two because, like, actually I really should have just stuck to one. Well, you know, whatever. Bone broth, which this is still not going to be enough for my soup. I don't think. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Um, we got smart sweets. Potatoes. I'm going to make a vegetable soup. A vegetable soup with bone broth. Just like, it resets you, you know? Eggplant for my go-to, like eggplant pasta. Mozzarella for that. I just got some cantaloupe chunks and then also grapes for snacks. And then I'm going to put these in the freezer because I love frozen grapes. I used to have those when I was a kid all the time. Rayo's Chobani Extra Creamy Oat Milk for coffee, which I actually started this entire order to get coffee made or to get coffee delivered here and uh, they forgot the coffee. The one thing that I really needed, but you know, it's fine. Um, lemon, onion, avocado, celery, carrots. That's it. That's my grocery haul for the week. I'm still going to need probably more bone broth, which gets so pricey. And then also coffee, but that's what we have. <laughs> Made some avocado toast i'm back to taking my vitamins i've actually never been good about this but i've had them organized so i'm going to make that a goal and then i also just made some matcha in my breadwinning housewife little mug i use these things 24 7 guys i'm telling you anyways looks incredible i got some nice sourdough bread feeling good i'm gonna head off to the studio soon 
I'm at the studio with Peyton, guys. So exciting, she's now with your media. So I guess we're kind of coworkers. Yeah. Yay, look at how cute, love. Guys, I'm back from the studio and I just got a package from Fresh Sends, which is my favorite thing ever. It's the flowers. I mean, there I have some over there. I just, I love them. I'm guessing it's from Liquid IV, but I'm literally obsessed. Eating a snack, I finally have fruit snack on. Working in this corner, which truly is my favorite place to work these days. I wanted to work outside, but I just didn't get to that. I've been working on the oak kind all day, and also I'm about to make the feed for my new book club Instagram, which is essentially just like a bookstagram. I'm gonna be recapping every book I read. That way I actually have reviews and you guys have a page to go to. It's KE Book Club. Anyways, I'm very excited. I also started um, Yellowstone yesterday. I think I'm only on like episode three. So good, loving it so far, but I'm going to Montana um, and I, I two weeks from tomorrow actually. So obviously had to start. I'm heading out to Pilates now, but I finally updated the book club Instagram. It took me way longer because I have reviews on all of them. So I write out a little bio, I give you a little review. Um, yeah, so it's KE book club. So exciting, everyone. These are the things that I just really look forward to in life. I'm now like running out the door for Pilates. I'm not really, not super feeling like a nighttime workout, but once I'm done with this, I can come home, I can shower, I can do my infrared sauna, I can read my book. Like I'm really looking forward to being done. So we are out the door. I'm gonna die today in Pilates. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is now Tuesday. I'm off to the Katy Trail. I'm meeting my dad there. We're gonna get coffee and then go on a walk. I've just been loving my morning walks. I've said that a million times before, but do you ever just say things and you're like, why did I say that? Obviously. Anyways, um, I have started reading book lovers, right? Emily Henry's new book. I'm liking it. Just like nothing will ever be beach read to me. I didn't like when we, people we meet on vacation, and nothing will ever be beach read for me. And that's really difficult, and that's a hard truth to live with. Yeah. Guys, someone must have missed the memo of telling me it was summer in Texas. Like. Oh my gosh, it is so hot. Anyways, walk the Katy Trail, got my coffee this morning. Best way to start off your morning. I'm gonna go, I think, read on the rooftop, do a little journaling. I also wanna, <laughs> guys, I'm literally dying. AC up. I also wanna show you guys, I got the uh, rooftop powder washed. These are the things that you look forward to when you're 24 um, and a homeowner. And it is the best thing to ever happen. I still need to move this, the like, stuff back i don't know why it wasn't moved back but whew. okay guys first off my tan on my chest it's not okay um i'm home it's 9 a.m i have my headphones on i'm going to do some laundry and then go upstairs on my rooftop show you guys the rooftop and read in journal i'm also shooting like an ad campaign right now but i'm using this peak b talks fountain beauty electrolyte youthful skin deep hydration um little like packets for my water I have these like breakouts right here that are just driving me insane. They will not go away. When I was traveling the first like week and a half, I didn't have like the right skincare routine. I was just like using these products I packed and like what a bad decision. So I'm back on my inky list stuff. I really need to go back in Curology actually because Curology is like always what works best for my skin. I also have this Peak Sun Goddess Matcha stuff. I like love this brand. It's like so good. Anyways, hopefully this helps my skin. That's the goal. I also, I'm so responsible this week and healthy. I have my vitamins here. This vitamin thing, I'll link it below. It's so helpful because it has a morning and a night and they're individual. So if you're like going out to dinner, going to breakfast, you just throw it in your purse. Why are there no nighttime ones in this one? That's weird. Anyways, I have my vitamins in here. We're gonna take some. I actually probably should make breakfast while I'm here. Okay. It's all about habits, routines. Wellness everyone got the infrared sauna blanket. I really want to try that. I love infrared I heard on the skinny confidential today 
Dr. Like Huberman or whatever that it's, he doesn't love it that much, but like I love infrared. I want an infrared sauna in my house, so now I'm like, do I get one? Um, I really, really want one. And then also, I did the like face mask thing, which normally when I do blue, it really helps like acne, but this is just like really not, not happening for me. Just made the best breakfast ever, always. Um, sourdough toast, avocado, and then the Trader Joe's glaze. This is like the secret stuff. It's so freaking good. Amazing. We're going to the rooftop now. All right, well, here's the rooftop. They left it like this. It is so much cleaner. Like, I wish you guys could have seen the before. First off, plants, RIP. All right? RIP. Let's just forget that happened. Let's not try again. Let's let it, let's let it, let it be, okay? But, oh, that's good. I love that. This has clearly held up really well. So I need a new fire pit. Okay, so I used to have two umbrellas. Like, where did that one go? I'm incredibly confused. I fully had two umbrellas and why? Anyways, um, these are really comfy. They're obviously falling apart. They weren't that expensive, not the biggest deal. What really matters to me is that the floors are clean. Oh wait, I'm literally an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. This is where the other umbrella went. I can't talk to anyone ever again after what just happened here, ever. That umbrella, I always have problems with the sandbags. So I'm gonna like need someone to like really help me here because obviously the bottom is not really working. But anyways, I'm gonna move this back. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna need to get new cushions. I'm sure I can figure that out. I'll order those today because these are obviously um, not it anymore. And this is not supposed to be on top of that. We just gotta make this perfect for the summer because I'm gonna be laying out here. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time here again. So now we're gonna fix this. All right, well, I just realized that the rug is going the wrong way, but honestly, this is enough for now. I'll have an afternoon where I really jazz this up. We've got to replace these. I'm sure I can get cushions easily, hopefully. Everything, by the way, is overstock up here besides this. I got a Facebook Marketplace, um, but it looks great. All right, guys, I'm heading off to Pilates now. I actually hate this set. It's not set active. It's like, I guess I like want to be set active. It sucks. So I'm definitely donating it after I wash it next, but I'm also going to drop the pups off at the vet on the way. Isn't that right, Fitz? Isn't that right, bub? I'm home from Pilates. I just had my vegetable soup. And now I'm going to try out my new infrared higher dose like sauna blanket. I got this for my mom for Christmas and I was actually just gifted it buy a skincare brand, which is like crazy. She told me to not go like all the way up. Um, some people do this for like 30 minutes. I don't know how long I'm gonna last in this because you're in here and again, it's literally a sauna blanket. So I'll keep you all posted on how this goes. Giving my review, it was unbelievably relaxing. I have to head out really quick to pick up the dog. So I'm gonna see how easily it folds up. I just showered and I got ready. I have dinner in about three and a half hours. I've just been shooting bunch of ad content for Instagram. I feel like it all is happening in one week. I'm wearing my moon merch. I'm just in a mood where there is too much stuff in my house. It needs to be decluttered so bad. I just don't have the time for it. And honestly, like I just would want, no I want nothing more than like a day to be lazy and cozy by myself in my house. And I just don't think I'm gonna get that this week or, or next week or the week after that. So, we're gonna have to figure that out, but anyways, I'm gonna have to figure out this out when we get back and I'll see how easy it is, um, but we'll see. I'm gonna go pick up the dogs. I'm back home. Oh, the dogs are back. Can you hear her? Of course you can. Look at her go. Truly look at her go. Update, the coffee table. Um, I got a new one. It's round. It should, I mean, it was already supposed to be here, but then it got delayed, so hopefully soon. I'm still looking for a round chair and I'm still looking for a rug. I feel like the rug is gonna really change things here. I absolutely hate those ghost chairs. So I also need to find new kitchen chairs and I feel like just those few things being done will really change things. So what kind of rug should I put here? Like the rooftop is back in order. This needs to be back in order because like honestly I've lived here for two years and I'm always in the middle of redoing it and I need to just get, I need to get it together. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get this stuff in order and get rid of any of the clutter. Um, I also have returns and stuff that I need to do, so that is gonna get taken care of. I'm gonna set a timer for like 40 minutes. Things just like need to, need to be fixed. I 
I'm thinking that I'm going to try out this chair. I just happened to be buying something on Target and then I typed in rounded chairs and look what we have. I think I at least wanna try it over here and just see how I like it. I like that it's light brown. I don't see this color everywhere. And I really just want to keep it, like I want a lot of neutrals, but I'm also going to like put in pops of color. I do have dark brown throughout the house too, but I think, I think this might be it. I'm at least going to try it because it's also a pretty good price. I don't even okay. I redid my sheets. I still cannot find my bedding. Like I have so much bedding. I left for a week. Other people are staying here. My bedding has like literally gone missing. I'm so confused. Um wearing the Dallas set. It is 90 degrees out. It's been a TikTok about this, but it's 90 degrees out. And I'm wearing this set because it's 100 percent cotton, so it's really breathable. Um I'm not only gonna be talking about my brand on my YouTube channel, don't worry, but I'm just saying in the summer when it's like so freaking hot again it's 90 degrees and i'm wearing this you can wear it it's crazy i didn't even realize that honestly until i started wearing it and kept wearing it kept wearing it as it got hotter um i also wore it on a plane and i froze to death because again it's so light and breathable um also my self tan my spray tan is so messed up on my body like absolutely so bad and like what are you supposed to do like in the summer you need your whole body covered when your spray tan is messed up and this is the set for you so anyways I'm about to head off. I'm going to a reopening tonight in Dallas. Um, I'm meeting up with a new friend. Where It's like an event, but we had to get reservations. So I don't know if it's just like only certain people can get reservations right now or if it's like an event or if it's both. I don't really know. Um, I'm going to be vlogging on my phone. So stay tuned. I also like really think that maybe I can take tomorrow afternoon off and have a cozy time at home. We'll see. I'm hoping for that, but like, you never know what's gonna happen here. Um, I have my pink shoes on, which are like my favorite ones to wear with this. And then I'm just wearing my black ones yoga this time because I've already worn the pink bag with this. Same outfit so many times, but like, what are you gonna do? I also need black shoes just like this because it's nice because I don't have like that much of a heel, you know, when you're not feeling it. Like, it's a weeknight. I don't want to do that. I want to say something because I normally don't feel this way, but I'm kind of having like post-trip blues. I've been with my friends non-stop the past two weeks and now that I'm home like obviously I'm so happy to be in Dallas I'm so happy to live here but I've just been with my friends traveling and having so much fun I go to New York so often I, like I feel like I see my friends who live in New York like if you don't know like a lot of my like closest best friends live in New York obviously a lot of them live in Dallas as well but I got to hang out with my New York girls for so long and then like make new friends like Shannon Ford and like get close with them and it's just sad like now that like I've been go, go, go for over two weeks, like crazy. I was in four different cities and now I'm just like, oh man, like I'm kind of sad, you know? I never feel that way. I'm normally like really excited to be home and I am excited to be home. Don't get me wrong. Like my routine has really been doing something for me. The other thing I add, total side note, this is, has nothing to do with it, with extensions. It's so difficult. Like I feel like my hair, I'm always worried I'm not getting all the product out of it. And like I think that I am, but it just like always feels like it's not fully dry. Like, and I do dry it. Like I, I don't know. I don't know. And I only have like one left too. So I've got to get that figured. Honestly, I really just need a blowout. Is what I need. But like I don't. I don't need a blowout. I just like want a blowout. You know. Hi guys, welcome to another Dallas vlog. I'm wearing my Dallas set, how cute. I got invited to the reopening of Dulce Riviera. I had actually never been, but it's really cute. Like the outdoor area is incredible. I didn't get that many shots in the daylight. Loved my drink, loved my food. I honestly don't even remember what we ordered because I just did recommendations, but I would definitely recommend it so Vloggers want to see you put your contacts in. No. Amanda, they miss you. They literally don't. They literally do. Okay, look at my ghetto. Honestly, though, this helps putting my contacts in. My, the fact that my nail broke. Fun fact about Amanda. By the way, Amanda's here. We're going to Pilates. Um, fun fact about Amanda uh, is that I've never met someone who has more nail problems in her life. I don't know what you're doing with those hands. I've gone to 10 different places, though. Look at this. Show them. <laughs> Guys, it's so bad always. 
You know what mine? Like just never, ha it never happens. But it's like the nails are actually cute though. Yeah, no, your nail designs and stuff are always cute. <laughs> your nails just fall off. And I also know. maybe, I think I, it's you know what? Hands, no, you know what it is? I've cracked the code. They're about three weeks overdue for a, for a fill, so that's why they're breaking. I know, I know, but they break before that. They, yeah, they do break. They They'll break, break within like 24 that? hours. Yes. And it doesn't matter where you go. Any it's crazy. Place, it's that's what I'm Even in a different state, it would happen it's in LA all the time. It's my hands, I think. <laughs> yeah, she needs help. Anyways, we're going to Pilates. Um, I've been telling Amanda she has to go with me all week. She's finally coming. I'm finally It's my coming. last hot Pilates class of the week, because tomorrow, why? I have a different workout, and then Friday I'm going to spin, and then Saturday I'm going to a hit workout for an event. I don't like hit workouts, but I'm going. I love hit workouts. You never invite me to those. I don't have a plus one. <sighs> you know, but because I don't do hit workouts unless it's you, for events. Yeah. It's just like not my vibe. So, anyways, we're off, everyone. Talk soon. Cheers. Heating up some soup right now. I'm actually having a really great day. Um, I thought I was for sure gonna need the afternoon off, but I woke up when I was on the roof, I was feeling so refreshed. I wanted to tell you guys then, but honestly, I needed to leave for Pilates, so I couldn't. Anyways, um, I got home, I showered, I took like the shower. I've been dry brushing this week. I've also been doing my like lymphatic drainage paddle. I don't know if I've like seen a difference necessarily. It's only been three days. But I'll keep you guys posted. Melissa would help and like everyone swears by it. Um, Amanda's gonna come over soon for lunch and she's helping me shoot a plan B campaign. I have a lot of editing today. So once that's done, I'm just gonna cozy up, get on my laptop and edit for probably a few hours. Um, but I'm just like finally in a good mood. I feel like when you come back from a trip, you're like in a funk. I don't really normally have that anymore, but I had it this time and then I came back and now I feel good. This is literally what I'm wearing right now. Um, these and then a bra running housewife crew, which these are not available, but we do have a launch next month. It's actually so soon. I shoot for it next week. And we, I guess I could say it in the vlog, um, for my Dallas girls, we do have a pop-up happening in Dallas um, where you can shop it in person. Obviously, I'll be there. There's gonna be drinks, it's gonna be really fun. And then um, for the New York live show girls, by the way, there are still tickets. It's $25 for GA, 50 for VIP. VIP, you get early access. There's like a, v a meet and greet, a whole thing. Um, I'll have that linked below. They will sell out, so you wanna get them now. We will be selling merch at the show. I don't know exactly what we'll have. I hope that we have the new drop. It's kind of what I'm assuming, um, but oh, wow. Look at that, guys, just in the background. Uh a little bit much this vegetable soup by the way so good it's just bone broth carrots onions celery potatoes random stuff um but it's so good and it makes the house smell incredible all right we've been working amanda's still here been getting a lot of things done making chicken with carrots i'm doing like coconut aminos my mom does it i don't know it's supposed to be like good for you about to put that in the oven of course i have my i'm on my like fourth one of these actually i'm kind of killing it today all right, y'all, it's been a very productive day. It's now 7 p.m. I'm laughing because I thought I was gonna take the afternoon off. I got so much done, and I'm making myself stop working because I need to, like, go read whatever because it's, like, way lighter out. Like, it's not even, the sun is not setting for, like, another hour or two. It just feels so much earlier. Anyways, I got some self-tanner delivered because I just feel off, and I think it's because I don't have a tan. Um, I got the Saint Tropez self tan. This is like the one hour express. I think actually no it isn't I don't know whatever my instacart shopper gave me. I mean shout out to instacart truly saving me always Also, I just want to say like shout out Do Kikido if you guys don't know already This isn't sponsored. Why does it sound sponsored? Um, it's basically like better for you good for you Cookie dough you can see all the ingredients here it's like non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, I think. No, not dairy-free. Zinc and elderberry, vegan, gluten-free. That's what it is. This is the chocolate chip. I like all of the flavors, honestly. I prefer like chocolate chip. I think they have a double chocolate chip that I like as well. But seriously, this stuff is like so good. I cannot even describe it to you. I'm already almost out and I have like three or four other ones in my fridge and I'm just Obsessed like it's so good guys. I'm gonna try this Divi scalp serum. Danny Austin came out with it I bought it myself. I Need something to help with my hair growth since my hair used to be like so naturally thick and great and It still is like good. I have good hair But when I got COVID I definitely lost a ton of my hair So I want to see if this helps me like I apply it to doubt to dry hair like what? I don't know. We'll see guys. I'll let you guys know how I like it
This is my outfit tonight. Um, I just self tanned. If you know, you know, you just have to wear something that covers as much of your body as possible, especially when you have white bedding. Um, anyways, I think I'm just gonna chill tonight. I'm gonna have like my red light therapy on. I'm gonna read. I might watch something. I wish the Kardashians came out earlier on Wednesday nights. Them coming out on Thursday nights, it's just like not really working with my schedule. Like, my podcast comes out on Thursday, so, like, I'm kind of busy. I've got things to do. Thursday nights, I typically, like, see someone do something. Like, I would much prefer a Wednesday night. Like, I could look forward to that. Could sit down, like, get a drink. You know what I mean? Like, I just think petition for the Kardashians to come out a little bit earlier because Thursday is just not cutting it, and I need something to look forward to um, between Mondays and Wednesdays. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to walk. Oh, my gosh, guys. I am already glowing. <laughs> It is crazy what a tan will do for you. Like, I'm a different person when I have a tan on, you know? Um, it is beautiful outside right now. I'm like, should I go on the rooftop? I should. But I don't really feel like it. I would like to just lay in bed. So I think that's the problem with my rooftop is that I just never want to leave my bed. So I have those issues going on. Anyways, the update on the, like, divvy, I think that's how you say it. it I th was afraid it was going to leave my hair feeling, like, greasy and gross because you just put it on your, like, dry hair daily. It didn't do that at all. So I'm gonna keep up with it and then hopefully I can take my extensions out. And my Good morning guys. Obviously I'm tan now. I feel so much better. Um, I'm about to do 12, 3, 30. I'm gonna multitask and put on some little eye masks. These are from, what is it, 111 skin? Is that how you say that? 111 skin, 111 skin. Um, I'm not sure, but I do like these eye masks a lot. So we're doing that. It's currently 8 a.m. I slept in like a little bit more than I have been. Um, I started my morning, I just like walked outside on my balcony and like why don't I do that every day? Cause it was so peaceful. Woo, okay. It's nice working out from home because you don't even have to worry about your like sets matching. Um, and you can wear eye masks when you work out, you know? I'm gonna watch the Kardashians while I work out, which is really giving me some inspo. Um, because I always have to watch something. If I watch something during 12, 3, 30, it goes by so much faster. And, like, my hair can look like this. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Alright guys, it's Thursday. I'm just wearing this light set. It's from Princess Polly. I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, I like the other stuff I got in my order, but honestly, like, I just want to be cozy. I have an event and I have therapy after, and I've got to run some errands. So, anyways, oh my gosh, bag is Balenciaga. Shoes are Nasty Gal. Um, and this is the look. It's actually so comfy. I also just like put a crimper, like, waver through my hair. Um, I forgot about these. It just like. It's so easy and it falls and then it, your hair looks like incredible when it falls. I know it's probably not for everyone, but like, I don't know, it just makes my hair, like it's just so easy, so I love it. Okay, so Amanda's going to this event with me. We're gonna meet at Sidel's to grab coffee before and then we're going to the event. It's the stylist event, I'll, I'll show you guys when we get there. I need to mail off some stuff. I need to mail Margo her birthday present. It was too big to pack with me. And then I just like haven't really, I just keep forgetting every single day. It's literally been sitting there. There's other like UPS returns and stuff I need to do, but like honestly, I'm just, I just need a 62 right now because I can't be bothered with this. I'm getting my car washed today, hopefully. Sidel's is so cute. Look who I found. Do you want me to get your thing? I can get it. I'm standing. All right, y'all. We're in Highland Park. We're going to an event for the stylist check. It's like swimwear. They have um, shapewear for swimwear, which is really cool. Obviously, it's absolutely beautiful here. I want to do... Oh, Amanda, when you start looking for new apartments, um, I'm going to need to come with you so I can vlog it. Because mm -hmm. people need to look... People need me to tour apartments. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, so that we can let them know, you know? <laughs> Anyways, beautiful. Wow. So pretty. <sighs> so cute. 
Got my car washed. You can't tell. I mean, the back seat is. Well, you can't actually see anything, so I could have just lied to you guys. There's a lot of like, there's yoga mats and stuff in the back seat. Um, I've needed my car washed for like a month now, and I just feel like a brand new person. Anyways, I'm going to therapy today. I'm really excited because after tonight, I have an IG live with Maddie, actually with Camber. If you don't know, Camber is an app. Essentially, like, uh, okay, I would describe it as like a really cute beautiful easy to use yelp but you have friends on there and you can follow people so like if you want dallas rex from me if you want new york rex if you want whatever it's all on there it's just like the coolest app ever anyways we're doing an ig live today about like my favorite dallas places and then we are um what am i doing after that oh and then i have friends coming over and i'm making them dinner whenever my friends come over all they ever want is that like kale tortellini soup so i'm getting that delivered those ingredients right now from instacart pouring some water you know don't mind me so that's coming it's just gonna be like a really great thursday i'm looking forward to it here i go with my breadwinning housewife mug a little grocery haul i'm making my kale tortellini sausage <gasps> oh no guys what is with me not being able to see things right in front of me i was about to be like oh my god they forgot kale are you kidding that's the second time this week first the umbrellas now this and it's all on camera more avocados, more bone broth. This is really where things add up. Um, carrots, celery, parmesan, bone broth, tar tomato paste, um, crushed tomatoes, iced coffee, tortellini, sausage. So I'm gonna be cooking later. I have about an hour until I have an Instagram live. I'm gonna finish up some work, change, get comfy. And then after that, I'm getting my stuff together. I'm gonna be Martha for the night. I'm hosting, I'm very excited. guys i just made a mar finished my work day had a really good ig live with maddie of camber i'm wearing right now a cute little daily drill set this is really like a swimsuit cover-up is terry cloth i think um i made like a spicy not spicy but like a pineapple mar really good i got it from um, the cookbook that i showed you guys a while ago but i'm about to start making my favorite meal as you guys know like this is my go-to so it's a tortellini, kale, Italian sausage soup. It's super easy. I'll kind of take you guys through, but it's like the best when you're hosting because it's really easy to make and everyone is obsessed with it. So everyone thinks you're like an incredible chef and it's not that hard. Happy Friday. I'm on my way to Sedell's again. Um, went to a spin class this morning. Just dropped Coco off to get groomed. We're gonna get some content for the Okine TikTok this morning. This morning, this morning, this morning. Um, I need my coffee and I need breakfast. I'm hungry. I need to get going. We're just gonna film some TikToks, like I've said. Um, we're in Highland Park Village. <laughs> We're at Sedell's. I spent $20 on this bagel and it was such a good decision. I'm very pleased. We're back from shooting and we have two samples in. So we want y'all's input. So these are going to be shorts. These are just samples by the way. So like it's not the final product. We're adding some more stuff. There's gonna be patched, whatever. Anyways, let us know what pattern you like. I thought for sure I was gonna like this one more, but it's not even really registering on the camera as much. It's very thin striped and then this one is thicker um it's gonna have like a matching poplin top i personally like this one better once i tried it on i thought for sure i would like this one better this one i think i like more if we did like a bright color and i like these if it's like a matching set let me know what you guys think though because obviously we care more about what you guys have to say but i am surprised that i really prefer these so let me know anyways that is it for today's video i'm about to start a weekend of my life vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life, reset vlog. Let me know what you guys want in the vlogs. Dom's here next week. We have some more fun stuff going on. Um, kind of in, I feel like I, sometimes I'm really good at vlogging, sometimes, you know, I'm just not. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Send it to a friend. Go watch some other ones. Have a great Sunday. Love you guys. Bye.
I know a lot of people are like, I don't want to be on dating apps. Okay, that's fine. My one advice if you don't want to be on dating apps is go to places where a future partner would be for you. So if you want to date somebody that's like into beer because you like breweries, then go hang out at breweries on the weekends. If you want to date somebody who likes books because you like to read, then go to bookstores. 